Hello Pisces, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 4th of September until the 10th of September 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Eight of Pentacles. This is a time of learning new skills and a time of beginning something that one has not previously done. In this sense, the Eight of Pentacles indicates that you are experiencing or about to experience a change or a new beginning in terms of your work, education or financial circumstances. However, this card symbolizes a concentrated determination to master the new skill being learned and the single-minded effort of someone who has consciously chosen a new career path or creative undertaking. This card shows a diligent and hard-working attitude, and indicates that you are applying yourself fully to whatever is at the center of your attention. This card creates success through perseverance and individual initiative as opposed to luck or the generosity of others. The Eight of Pentacles suggests you are working your way at the finer details of the various aspects of your life, in an effort to continuously improve your situation. You may be unhappy with your current state and you know you need to make some important changes in your life to increase your overall satisfaction. This card is a really positive sign that you are committed to making those changes and to ensuring that you give yourself the best possible chance. Overall, this is a very hard-working and conscientious energy that is present in your life. The Eight of Pentacles is encouragement to keep doing what you are doing as it will eventually lead to success. Yes, it requires a lot of dedication, focus and patience but as each day passes and as you stay true to your values and beliefs, you get a little closer to your goal. It may not be as apparent as you may like but events are unfolding that will lead you to the right path. Continue working on yourself, too and making ongoing improvements and adjustments to ensure that you are the best person you can be. The Eight of Pentacles may indicate further education or study in order to hone your skills. You may already be proficient in a particular skill set but you are now seeking to master those skills. For example, you may be a great home cook but now you are starting to focus your attention on fine French cuisine. Or perhaps you have learnt the basics of tarot reading but now you want to become a tarot expert. You know that it will require a lot of focus and dedication in your studies but you are willing to work hard and to pay attention to the details. You know that you will not learn these advanced skills overnight but you are prepared for the journey towards becoming a master at your chosen expertise. If you encounter this card in a reading and are not currently engaged in the active pursuit of your goals, ask yourself what you could learn or create to better yourself or your circumstances. If you are already engaged in the pursuit of new learning, the Eight of Pentacles may be a card of encouragement and reassurance that the energy you invest in your development will be worth your while. The second card for you is representing what do you want most right now? Your card is The Five of Swords What do you want most right now is to finalize the conflict in your life. However, you are still engaging in conflict or finding yourself disagreeing with others, leading to tension and hostility. 
despite thinking you have won, you may still end up the loser because you have hurt or annoyed others and have subsequently isolated yourself. You try to pick up the pieces and act as if the conflict is now in the past but others have now lost faith in you and do not want to be around you. This might be one of those times when it feels like everyone is against you and you may lose some friends along the way. You will need to make a decision about whether your point of view is so important to you that it is okay to put your relationship with others in jeopardy, or whether you can compromise and try to see eye to eye with others. If you have been aggressive in your struggles, then you will soon accomplish your objectives. However, if you have been passive, you may need to compromise on your personal interests, giving in to the wishes of the opposing force you will feel that there are more obstacles ahead, and you will not want to face the ordeal you know you must if you are to have what you want or the way you want it. Overall, you are in for a struggle and there is more work or problems ahead than you are aware of now. Things will not go as well as they should, and you will have conflicts or clashes of will with others. Thus, the Five of Swords is a card representing ambition but in the negative sense too much ambition without regard to the consequences to yourself or others results ultimately in a situation of loss for everyone. You may be represented either by the callous winner or the dejected losers. In any case, there is a negative connotation. If your focus is solely on winning your goals at any cost, you will eventually discover to your own dismay that the price of winning may not have been worth the reward. Arrogance and pride often go hand in hand with a difficult triumph such as this, and you must be careful not to think you are invincible. You have overcome a challenge, and you have the right to feel proud but know that there will be other rivals to face and that some of them will eventually defeat you. Boasting to others that you are invincible is an invitation for someone to prove you wrong. If your victory was won through cheating or unethical conduct, beware of an attempt at vengeance. The Five of Swords can relate to a betrayal or sneak attack by someone you trust and do not suspect as your enemy. There may be an unfaithful partner or a jealous person in your life who is sabotaging you behind your back. Look to other court cards in the reading to understand who may be working against you. You must be very careful whom you trust at this point in time because you are vulnerable to attack and gossip. The advice of the Five of Swords is to pick your battles. You may be tempted to fight every conflict to ensure you get your way, to prove that you are right, or to defend yourself when you are feeling challenged or threatened by another person. However, most experts agree, Choosing your battles wisely is a much better way of life than battling out every disagreement. Not only will picking your battles lead to a more peaceful existence, it is also more likely to strengthen your interpersonal relationships. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Page of Cups. You are afraid of escaping reality through drugs or alcohol. If this is not you, it can be someone around you who is running away from reality and living in their own world. This is a person who is emotionally insecure and unable to conduct healthy relationships as he expects too much and gives too little. He is lacking in self-love and self-acceptance, and may be emotionally abusive. This person has rampant and unfocused emotions, and may therefore get his or her feelings hurt without reason. He is suspicious, self-doubting, insincere, selfish and easily depressed. This may be someone you know or even a reflection of your shadow self. You or someone you know may also be prone to childlike tantrums and a loss of emotional control in the face of adversity. The reversal of the Page of Cups points to exaggerated emotional outbursts and a temperamental, overly dependent personality. The Page of Cups can sometimes indicate substance abuse, particularly if paired with the devil. 
you may be using drugs or alcohol as a way to escape your reality and to dream about a more favorable possibility. It will eventually catch up with you. Given the Page of Cups is reflective of your creative abilities, its reversal can indicate a creative block. Alternatively, you may feel thwarted when it comes to doing the types of stimulating, creative projects that you find really interesting but which may not bring in as much income as other things. The ideas are there but you are having trouble figuring out how to make them into reality. The Page of Cups can indicate that you are following an inclination or a hunch but with little thought about whether it is realistic or not. You may be acting without thinking or allowing your immediate desires and emotions to seduce you, particularly if they go against your common sense, such as making a promise you cannot keep or a commitment that does not mean anything to you. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the four of pentacles. You are very conservative about money and are not inclined to gamble in financial matters. You are very protective of what you have accumulated over time, and slowly and steadily you increase your net worth through saving money and safe investments. You are self-sufficient both financially and emotionally, as you often equate money with emotional security. This card also indicates possessiveness greed and an overly cautious approach to life. You may be afraid to take risks, both financially and emotionally for fear of losing everything that you have attained so far. As a result, you may be vaguely unhappy and unfulfilled. Deep down you are starting to realize that you have sold out for a conservative and overly safe approach to life. Thus, the Four of Pentacles indicates one of the dangers of prosperity the temptation to value money far above its real worth. If wealth and financial success lead to a miserly or penny-pinching attitude, then you have found yourself in a narrow-minded state where nothing is perceived to have any significant value other than money. This attitude is an expression of extreme attachment to the material things of the world and is unhealthy in the long term. Sometimes, the Four of Pentacles can indicate an inflexible attitude that is resistant to change. You have already established a way of living that now works for you, so why change? Change appears to be a threat to your certainty, safety and security, and may place you at risk of losing all that is important to you. Any suggestion of doing things differently is therefore going to be met with resistance for fear of how it will impact your personal sense of security. Thus, you are more likely to favor tradition and tried and tested ways of doing things, rather than taking any risks at this point. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the six of wands. You are doubting your abilities and your potential for success. You may feel negatively about yourself and as if you have failed both yourself and others. You are lacking confidence, and need the support and recognition of others to pick you up and give you strength again. You have had a fall from grace and have not received the public recognition you were seeking. You have either received no feedback for your efforts, or negative feedback. You may have expected things would have worked well but instead you are being punished in some way or you are being neglected for your efforts thus far. Now, your confidence has taken a hit, as has your professional reputation or at least your perception of your reputation. If a particular project has not been as successful as you had hoped, you may be no better off moving to a new environment so that you can rebuild your personal reputation and brand, rather than trying to fix something that has already broken. You may be trying to achieve too many things at once and may not be doing a good job at juggling all of these commitments. It may be best to focus on only a few things and do them well. This will help you feel more inspired and motivated about the activities you do commit to. This card can reflect the transitory nature of success. One moment, 
you are on top of the world because you have achieved great things but then the expectation has been set that you will continue to perform to this level and when you do not, then you are suddenly knocked down and criticized. While victory and triumph feel great at the time, recognize that it is only temporary and you will have to continue sustaining a high level of performance to be acknowledged. The last card for you is representing the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is the Seven of Pentacles. You do not want to keep putting your heart and soul into something if you are not getting the rewards for it, and no doubt, you have started to see that there are some areas in your life that are just become energy sappers but without the reward. If you have been working extra hard or putting in extra effort into something, it will finally pay off. Your effort will definitely be worth it and you will see the results and rewards for your labor. You may have been working on something quite challenging and important for the last few months, and this is likely to come to a culmination. You are likely to see financial or other tangible rewards for all of your hard work. You might have been laboring away at something important and you may be starting to feel concerned that you will never be rewarded for your efforts. Be patient and appreciate the progress you have made so far. If your hard work has not yet paid off as planned, remember that your expectations may be unreasonable. There are no guarantees. Be grateful, focus on the present and do what you can with what you have. This card follows the Six of Pentacles which indicated the ending of a difficult period of financial or material difficulty. In the Seven of Pentacles, you are now experiencing the rewards of hard work and effort. However, the question at hand is whether the rewards of hard work are in fact worth the effort to acquire them. It is often at the time of greatest success that you realize what you desired so much is in fact somewhat disappointing and perhaps not worth all of the effort. The Seven of Pentacles may therefore represent fear of failure, delays and frustration. However, the positive side to it is that you are more likely to be learning from these setbacks and evaluating how you can better invest your time to create the most value. In order to avoid feelings of frustration, ensure that you review your progress to date at regular intervals, particularly when engaged in long-term or enduring work, so that you can review what is working well and what is not and where you can make adjustments. Make sure that you are on course and that you are on track to achieve your goals. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is pay yourself first. This card is guiding you toward financial self-care through an ancient abundance secret, paying yourself first. While it is vitally important to your financial well-being to take care of your bills and other responsibilities, it is equally important to honor your debt to yourself. When you go to pay your bills, pay yourself. Common wisdom says that you should save 10% of each paycheck. Commit this money to be used only for responsible investing for your future. It's easy to justify not investing in yourself. It can seem egotistical, or even wasteful. However, energetically, paying yourself first offers up a prayer to the universe that says I am worth it. I too deserve abundance prosperity, and peace. I am a co-creator of my financial well-being, and I accept nothing less from myself than what others expect from me. Paying yourself first also involves other forms of self-care, and treating yourself with the same respect and generosity that you would extend to a loved one. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just Please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.